，看能不能教我一句江西话。江西话是吧？嗯，我教你就最简单的。啊，做些的东西哦，做些的东西哦。嗯，读快点，做些的东西哦，做些的东西哦。啊啊，什么意思？说什么意思吗？就是你在干些什么？啊，你在干嘛？是不是？对，你在干嘛？做些的东西哦。对。My name is Luke from Seattle, Washington, USA. Currently living in Chengdu, China. As a social media practitioner, I love sharing random thoughts and experiences with friends from all over the world. I felt disillusioned by the short video format. Seeing nearly every influencer go to the same hot spots and try the same challenges to get there, 15 minutes of fame, without making anything truly meaningful. In search of simple beauty, a bit of a reset. I came to Kangbin, a city full of romance in Shambhala. Today is my first day in Kangbin, and I'm going up Taoma Mountain. Uh, it's over 2,000 meters tall. I don't know exactly how tall, but uh, I've heard that at the top there are people who still sing the uh, old Kangbin love song, traditional song. So I'm really excited to go see if I can meet any locals and, and talk to them and just learn more about this beautiful location. Come on, let's go. Cable cars. It's one of my favorite things. You can see everything. It reminds me of like going skiing. Tao Ma Shan in Chinese means a mountain full of freely galloping horses. So, as it should be, the horses here are beautiful and healthy. So white. So I guess this is why they call it Running Horse Mountain, right? Oh, they're not running right now, but I'm sure they will be soon. There are people in this courtyard singing the kind and chinga the uh, love song of Kangding. I'm excited to go learn more about it from them and uh, you know, learn about the, the history of this song and its many iterations across the, the you know, 60 or 70 or 80 years, however long it's been, been around and the, the history behind it. Let's go. Some cities are remembered, made famous, or enhanced by a moving song, a catchy tune passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. Just like Hotel California or Sweet Home Alabama, Kangding similarly is famous for its Kangding love song, which combines the melody of multiple traditional folk songs, concise but rich. Although simple, in the 1970s, Kangding love song was selected as one of NASA's 10 most iconic songs in the world, all of which were played in space by the Voyager 2 probe. The song's beautiful melody is infectious, something you'll undoubtedly feel when you listen carefully. All right, we're here. This, uh, this is a lake at 4,000 meters above sea level. In Chinese, it's called Yeren Hai. The Tibetan name for it is Bo Ge Tuo. I first heard Kangding Ji Ji Lei, which is the first time I heard it. Yes, yes, yes. Then I went to Chengdu and I went to Chengdu. I went to Chengdu and I went to Chengdu. I went to Chengdu and I went to Chengdu. Can you tell me about your points? For example, the color and the bands and the things that you have to do. Yes, yes. If you have any questions, you can ask me. I met a Tibetan girl by the lake in Fen Mugutuo. She enthusiastically shared the story of her dress with me, telling me the special meaning of the decorative patterns. The 
Beautiful mountains and rivers and magnificent scenery made me feel Shambhala personally in my bones and made me want to travel every inch of China. I wrote my Chinese name on the beach, literally translated, it is Luke. By car, I came to Shan Pass. We left the city and drove up a winding, narrow mountain road for a few miles, not too far from the city, about half an hour or so, and made it to Zhidua Mountain. This is a uh, uh, just a famous peak here in near Kangding. Look at some of these flags, see if we can see a little bit of the text up in person. These colorful prayer flags are both romantic and mysterious. Come to the home of a of a you know Tibetan family, uh, traditional yak herders. Uh, they make their entire living off of herding yaks, and uh, I just am really excited to you know see if I can meet them, learn about their lifestyle, what they eat, what they drink, what they do for work, you know, all throughout the year, and just learn, learn a bit more about their homes and, and everything that's involved. So um, let's see. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> The Tibetans here are far more accessible and hospitable than I expected. I'm very curious about the decoration of this home. So, so for these walls, I was just curious. They're, they're always so beautiful. Uh, most of these, these designs are actually painted by a local painter who is from you know this area, which I think is, is kind of beautiful. I mean, it's very impressive. It has all these different kind of imagery, and you know, each the way I look at it, like each panel has a different animal. I don't know. I just find it so beautiful. So we got elephants, monkey, rabbit. Kangding also has its fashionable, trendy style. Hilarious name to find here. Apparently it's the, the hottest bar in Kangding and there's uh, some karaoke and hip-hop music and tons of fun stuff. I, so we're gonna go see what it's like. It's showtime, baby. After having fun, you have to remember to eat a healthy meal. Now we're going to dinner at a Tibetan restaurant called Chinka. I'm really excited to see what it's like. Let's go! This restaurant called Chingbari is a fusion of Tibetan and Western food. It has yogurt in the shape of the local Gonga snow mountain, as well as various delicacies. I am um, having some of this fried rice. And it's very, very good. It's all very good. This is yogurt. I don't want to... I feel bad to touch this, but it looks so beautiful. But I'll try a little bit of this yogurt. It's really good. It's like kind of sweet. It has that cloud. It's, it's kind of tastes like Greek yogurt, but a little more consistency to it. Almost like an ice cream kind of... Oh, it's very good. Very, very good. Have some fruit just to... Keep the sweetness going. 
um, yeah, everything is everything is delicious and, and uh, very approachable. My trip to Kangding has come to an end. I came to Yuzixi. We made it to Yuzixi, over 4,000 meters tall. And from here you can see like hundreds of mountains all around you. Just watch the sunset, still looking at the beautiful orange and pink and purple clouds. I feel like I'm really on top of the world here. I mean, this is, uh, it doesn't get much better than this. It's, uh, it's clear skies, just a little bit of clouds to give you the colors. As far as I can see, it's mountains in every single direction. Whites and greens and, and reds and browns and every color you could imagine. And this is, uh, this is heaven, baby. Woo! I escaped from the repetitive, exhausting world of social media and walked into this snowy field. Perhaps I never lost my way. So I walk in the snow, unaware exactly where I am or where north might be. Just being present in the moment is enough. I think I still feel it in my heart. There's a tall lighthouse guiding me. Now it's time for me to find my next location to share more stories with you all. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>